people that come to United States to maybe find a better life. You are pulled away sometimes from family ties or your comfort zone. And as they are taken away from their comfort zone, their hearts are very open. Hello, we are the Norris family and we are serving the Lord together in Cannon Beach, Oregon with the goal of leading a Spanish-speaking church here. I am Monica Sernettinger and uh, with my husband we served for 15 years in Puro Antiro, Michoacán in Mexico. Then the opportunity opened that we would come to uh, Oregon to help start a church plant with Hispanic Mexican immigrants and that's what we have been doing for two and a half years now. Hello everyone, we are the Chavez family. My name is Alejandro. I used to work as a manager of a financial group in Mexico. We met Bart and Pam over there. They were missionaries in Mexico. They shared the gospel to us and that's how we came to know Christ. We came to visit the Pilates to Medford, Oregon. Living with them and just experiencing what they were doing, working with the Hispanic uh, population. I remember telling my wife, Adriana, that uh, I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. And I asked her, what do you think? Uh, and she told me that she wanted to do the same thing. And six months later, Bart, he wrote us a, a letter inviting us to come here to work with the churches in Oregon. Well, how in the world do you start a Hispanic work up here in the state of Oregon? Kind of have to back up to the year 1979 when we began our life in Latin America, Costa Rica, and Mexico. Fifteen years of experience, and in that time we worked in five different cities, at different stages of church planting, all different phases to gain experience that would be used here in the state of Oregon. We have several families and individuals uh, from Mexico, El Salvador, Colombia. Right now we are getting together in a Baptist church. They are letting us use their facilities and we are helping them because they have a children's ministry, a after school children's ministry called Kids Space, where probably 40 or 45 percent of the children there are of Hispanic origin. So we're helping them to teach the Bible to these kids in Spanish. So when we got to Cannon Beach, there were several women who had come to faith in Christ. We had a natural bridge for a relationship with their husbands. We just gave them Bibles, invited them to come to our church meetings and the Bible studies, and they started attending slowly. But really what convinced these men to trust in Christ was the reading of the Word. Uh, one man uh, in particular, Eliasad, once he started reading the Bible, he could not put it down. He would read before he went to work in the morning, get home and read late into the night. And the Lord brought conviction to his heart about being a sinner, and soon he placed his faith in Christ. They're hungry for the Word of God. They're even willing to work at night, the night shift, because they don't want to miss the Bible studies if they would do the afternoon shift. And now what they want to do is they want to go back to Mexico and share with their relatives more what the Lord has been doing in their lives. They're excited to be in our assembly to get prepared to then go back to Mexico. A very enjoyable part of our work is the doors have opened back in Mexico. When we go back, we try to go back twice a year, two to three weeks at a time and we will go into these villages, uh, these little ranchos, to visit relatives of people who have come to believe in Christ. Families here still have relations back in Mexico, and once these people get saved, they want their family members in Mexico to know Christ. And so when we go back and visit Mexico, they will send pictures and letters and Bibles to their family and ask us specifically to go and share the gospel with their family members. So for us, that opens a door as we go to these small communities and say, hi, so-and-so sent me. We know them, we live with them in the United States, and they wanted us to share this with you. be 
praying that God will continue to open doors for us here and the gospel of Jesus Christ among the Hispanics. And you could be praying also for the families that have uh, come to know Christ as their Savior so they can continue to grow in their faith. What, uh, what can you pray about? Well, we need strong leaders in these new works that we've begun here in the state of Oregon. And we need leaders who can reach out to the to the young people uh, that are losing their Spanish, to include them, to encourage them to continue with their Spanish, to think about how they can reach the next generation, at least one more generation, and how they can return to Mexico, visit their family, their friends, and talk to them about Christ, and how He has given them forgiveness. He has given them new life, eternal life.